Hey guys and welcome back to another Newcastle career mode episode. Uh, in this episode, uh, we're in the month of December, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're in the month of December and um, in the Champions League, we're pretty much set to go through. So this is going to be a sim game. I'm only going to play three games and I'm going to be playing Liverpool, Burnley and Stoke City. Uh, West Bromwich Albion, Watford, and Aston Villa. I'm gonna I'm gonna sim them. I'm gonna sim all these four games. Here's why: Burnley are in second place. Funnily, funny enough, and um, these three are well, not Watford. Watford is supposedly are sixth or seventh, and uh, West Brom and Aston Villa, if I'm not mistaken, are pretty much below top ten. So those are gonna be sim games. I'm gonna be playing the Stoke City game. Burnley and Liverpool. I know that I said it, but I'm just going to um, repeat it so that I have it mentally stuck in my head. Because after that, the uh, January transfer window opens. And I just realized I'm out of the FA Cup and the, Car uh, the Carabao Cup. I'm off the two cups. Because there's not been a game for them in a while. Yeah, I'm out of the cups. How did I am out of the cups? I have no idea. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, Champions League, that's what I care about. Champions League and the league. Those are the, the main titles. And um, in Season 3, if we get to Season 3, maybe we'll get the Cups. I don't know. So, uh, we're going to be playing against Stoke City, as I previously said. Uh, this is going to be a home game. And then we're going to have to sim... Well, I want to sim uh, the next four games. I think it is. I think there are the four games. It depends. It really depends. Uh, after after this one, we'll check the table, so that we don't skip out on uh, hack actually having to play against Burnley, and they're below the other two, like um, uh, Watford and uh, West Brom. So yeah, this is the pretty much the best team that I have. And Bemba finally a seventy-eight overall. Uh, Bakayoko an 83 overall, which is amazing. Andres Silva and Cotrone also one rating up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the main team that I have. So let's go for it, boys. So here we go for the first game of this episode uh, against Stoke City. It, it's at St. St. James's Park. Sorry, it's just sometimes I fumble my words. And um, yeah, we are top of the, t uh, top of the table. God, five points away from second place, and none of them are, uh, well, except for Stoke, not Stoke, except for um, Spurs, the other top six are just down there, like, sucking each other off, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing, and uh, yeah, look at this, look at the top four, Stoke City, Newcastle, Spurs, and Everton, wow, that is just terrible so yeah here we go for uh, the kickoff of this game they are they still have Peter Crouch up front I realized in the lineup there's uh, one player there that um, played in the Portuguese league it's um, Alexis uh, Alex Telles the uh, left back so that's the only one that I that I didn't rec recognize from the um, from the main team well, the team that they have in real life. So, yeah, enough talking. Let's just get this show on the road. Wilshire. Hazard. Bakayoko. Havertz. Hazard. Wilshire. Cotrone. Andres Silva. Cotrone. Contro controls the ball. Passes to Hazard. Shoots it. I'm going to get that. Uh, I'm going to... I'm... I have to remember to get that play just from the beginning to end. I got to I got to put that in the video. God damn it, that was perfect. From the Bakayoko's um header one until everybody just passing the ball pretty much correctly and Hazard, what a fantastic finesse shot from outside the box. Jeez, look at this. Holy shit, that was amazing. That was top class. And we're 1-0 up against Stoke City. 
And there we go, half time. God, thank you. Like the final five minutes, Stoke City have been actually putting us under the cosh. And they're playing through balls to Peter Crouch, which is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like he doesn't have enough pace to get to those balls, but funnily enough, they're doing it. That's just weird to me, but okay, sure, Stoke City. Whatever you say. So second half, let's, okay, uh, graphics, thank you. As I was saying, let's go to the second half and let's secure the three points, please, boys. Luke Shaw keeps it alive. Andre Silva. Come on, Hazard, completely through, just fucking bullshit again. I don't know how that ball went in. I gotta be honest, I don't know how that went in. I thought I fucked it up, but apparently I didn't. Apparently I didn't, and it's 2-0 to Newcastle. Jesus Christ, this game has been weird. Like, look at this. How the hell did that went through everybody? Went through the... Like, what did the goalkeeper do? Did he just... He just spazzed out for no apparent reason. He just spazzed out. Okay. Hazard, I think Hazard is uh, top of the league for a uh, top goal scorer on the league. I don't know. Um, again, another interception. And by the way, it's 2 0 to Newcastle. Havertz, Wilshire, Bakioko, Cutrone waits for the overlap of Yedlin. Yedlin cuts inside and to Andre Silva, which is gonna tuck the ball home every day of the week. God damn it! I know that I'm not. I'm not. Oh wow! I almost broke the controller now. Uh, I know that I'm not over exaggerating on my um, what you call it on my celebrations, but it's just that Stoke City play a playing style like it's so weird. Like, they do, um, what, am I want to, what do I want to say? Uh, they, uh, the way that they defend, or they press, they press. Like, the way that they press is just, it's weird. It's not aggressive enough that he's gonna, uh, they're gonna be all over you. It's just that they are, uh, when they get over you, all, all over you, I should say, they already have like three or four players cutting every single pass. I just have to cut back and cut inside. It's weird the way that they defend. It's effective. Well, not as effective as as they wanted to because I, I put pa uh, three past them. But to interrupt plays, it is really effective. But yeah, already. 3-0 up to Newcastle. Great pass. Cotrone. Run into the fence, and they just stop. The defense just stops whenever you do a, um, whenever you do that skill move. The defense just stops. You just have to keep running one direction, and when you shift just a little bit, the defender just stops. I don't know if that's a, a coding error, but that has been happening all over FIFA 18. Look at this. He's with me, and then when I cut a little bit inside, it's just, he just stopped running. I think it was, I don't even know who it was, but yeah, 4-0. Four 4-0 nil. Four nil to Newcastle against Stoke City, and that's pretty much going to be game. There we go, finally, full time. And 4-0 to Newcastle, another win, another three points in the bag. Yeah, yeah, Andre Silva. That's what I'm fucking talk. That's what I'm fucking talking about. And, uh, dude, I don't know why you went to Stoke City. Uh, it was uh, I. I realized that there's another player that uh, went to Stoke City. Uh, not just Alex Telles, but Blatzlikowski. That is so weird. And uh, yeah, we deserve the win. Look at this: 13 shots, eight on target, four goals. 55% possession against their three shots, two on target, 45% possession. What has been happening in this game that I'm winning possession over the AI? It's so weird. 
So, uh, yeah, this is going to be the uh, first game that we're going to be simming. It's uh, against West Brom. And uh, West Brom are currently in 8th place with 20 points. We, are with 30, we have 31 points at the top of the league. And even if we lose or tie, 2nd place has 25 points. So we're pretty much set to uh, keep um, the top of the league. And I'm playing with the main team because the uh, second team is going to play the um, the Atletico Madrid game. Because I want him to. I just want him to. I want him to have fun in the uh, in a competition. Like, get get them in the international stage, but that doesn't have the, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, pressure of them having to win because it doesn't matter. And uh, we got the tie. I Honestly, I'm okay with it. So, this is going to be the um, second match that we're going to be simming. It's against Atletico Madrid. And it um, doesn't matter, we go through. But if we win, by some miracle, if we win, we get top of the table. But if we go second, that's perfectly fine by me. I, I'm going to be playing with the uh, second team as uh, Renato Sanchez is back and he has to play. Uh, actually, Wilshire also has to play, but if he comes in on um, as a sub, I don't mind that at all. Uh, I just don't want my players to be... Okay, Mbakugo, thank you. I was going to say, I don't, just don't want my players to be... Um, to be with their stamina low when we're going to go to the league, because we're going to be playing against uh, Watford, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Clark, are you kidding me? Another injury? Are you shitting me? Well, to be fair, that's like the, what the, well, it is the fourth one. We had an injury to the same player twice. And now Clark, and we had the Havertz, but Havertz was like a five, five day injury or something like that. Okay. 1-1, one, one. that's not bad. And uh, as I said before, this is going to be another simulation game. It's against Watford, which they are in sixth place with 23 points. Uh, we're still like five points away from Burnley. So I don't mind simming these, these games. But after this one, we have one more sim. And then we're going to play against Burnley and Liverpool. So after this... Okay, Hazard. Yes. So after this game, we have what? Three more games in which I'm going to be playing two of them. Kutrone, great. And Andres Silva, great. We're going to win this. Uh, I just don't want any injuries. 5-1. No injuries, but 5-1. Holy shit. So, uh, this is going to be the... Um, Fourth game in a row that I'm gonna be simming. I know it's it, it's just that I want to get the uh, month of December over with um, Cuz FIFA 18 is like what uh, FIFA 19 is like what uh, 20 19 days away So I want to get rid of well not get rid of I want to finish season 2 so we can start season 3 with a lot of talent that I'm going to be bringing in because I have my eye on some players that I probably uh, you're gonna see in the next episode. But for now, I'm actually gonna be playing with the second team. I know it's away, but I'm gonna be playing with the second team because I don't want any injuries. We have two major, major, major games after this, and uh, I just realized I should have went with the uh, with the main team and play with the second team against. Uh, Burnley because it's like what four days away from um, after four uh, four days away uh, with the um, with the Liverpool game but whatever it doesn't matter I'll figure it out somehow uh, it's one one come on people come on come on come on. okay uh, one one tie at Villa which they are kind of um, what do you say? What what is the word that I'm looking for? They're kind of a rival, aren't they? Or some stupid shit like that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Just let's go forward. So this is gonna be the second game that we're go that we're going to be playing, and um, I gotta say, 
uh, it's like three days after this game. It's like three days from uh, the Liverpool game. So I'm making an executive decision of playing the second team. I'm going to be playing with the second team with uh, Mbaku going to up front. Packet Matt is going to be the cam. Renato Sanchez, Hayden, and Saivet are the midfielders. And everybody else is just... It's not that they're bad. It's just that they're not top quality as my main team is. But I hopefully I get a win or a tie. I don't even care if I get a tie. I'm actually okay with a tie in, uh, against uh, Burnley. Because they're in third place, tied with second place, if I'm not mistaken. With 28 points. So, um, yeah, let's go for it, boys. And uh, here we go for the second game of this episode again at St. St. James's Park. Why does that? Why is that so uh, difficult to say? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's against uh, Burnley, which are in third place. Which, wow, that is not at all what they're doing in real life. But uh, yeah, they have a great team. Well, a great defensive team, I should say. Because they 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 have a lot of people uh, in the midfield. I'm I'm pretty much certain. Anyways, hopefully we get a win out of this or a tie. I'm not at all. Uh, what what? Who is that guy? Okay, doesn't matter. Just kick off and let's go. Oh my god. Whoa, what just happened? What what just happened? Okay. I really want to see this again. What was that for a clearance? The goalkeeper had a man. And the defender had him. Okay. Okay, 1 0. Munyain. Oh my god. I cannot believe that I'm losing 1 0 to this. And I cannot believe it's half time. I'm still losing 1 0 to Burnley. I cannot believe I'm losing 1 0. Like, I don't mind losing, but that goal was so bullshit. And I gotta say, like, Burnley have a stupid look at this 12 shot six on target. I guarantee you I guarantee you that all of those shots from um, From Burnley are in the like 20 uh, in, inside of 25 minutes look at that 12 minute 20 20 21 22 22 29 see like three shots they had three shots after the 25th minute after that they did nothing cannot believe i'm losing this game god damn it something has to change i'm going to i'm going on attacking i don't care fuck it i'm i'm so pissed about this team i i i i'm going to scream every time i i if i get a goal i'm going to scream my lungs off look at this tony Plays Mbakugo in. Come on, Mbakugo. Just sm smash it the fuck home. Thank you. I don't care if I'm screaming. Like, fuck this. Burnley. I'm having trouble against Burnley. Granted, they're third in the, plan in the league, but God. Fuck's sake. Finally, a play that goes well. I've been trying to do that play like eight times in a row in the first half. Jesus Christ, dude. Come the fuck on. 1-1. One, one. Come on, let's flip this fucking game up, please. How was that not a foul, ref? Are you kidding me? They're going to score, aren't they? Oh my god, the game ended with that. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? That was just... Oh my god, this game This game was atrocious. This game was just atrocious. They are such a bitch team to play against. Oh my god, they had 14... Oh, remember, they had 12 shots 
eight on target or six on target. That means they made two shots, one on target in the second half. And I think I didn't do any better than that, but oh my God, this game was so bullshit. This game was so bad, you have no idea. So, this is gonna be the final match of the episode. We're six points clear on um, the top of the table. Uh, Everton are in second, West, West Ham are in third. And uh, let me just see it again, thank you. And Spurs are in fourth. Burnley, we tied to them, and then there's Arsenal. So Liverpool, I think they're in 17th, uh, well, not 17th, sorry, it's just 12 or 13 or something like that. Uh, anyways, after that horrible, horrible game against Burnley, I'm going to just leave it, just forget about that game, just that game doesn't matter. And um, yeah, the main team, everybody's fit, everybody's okay, and we're going to be playing against Liverpool. Hopefully, we get the three points. So, here we go for the final game of the episode. Um, it's going to be uh, away at Henfield against Liverpool. And uh, I was checking the uh, table for the month of January. And there's an FA Cup there. An FA Cup match there. So, we're not out of the FA Cup. We're just out of the Carabao Cup. I don't know why I thought I was out of the FA Cup. Because I was pretty much certain that I won the last game. It's just that it's been like, what? Three episodes since the last time that we actually had a had to play in an FA Cup. So um, yeah, they're not even on top ten. Liverpool's not even on top ten with Mane, Sane, and Firmino up front. That is weird to me. By the way, uh, I just realized they have Wenyal Wenyal He used to play for Newcastle until he fucked off. Oh, they have Karius in goal. Ricardo Pereira, Lovren, Matip, and Santos. Who the hell is Santos? Oh, they have Lovren, the greatest... What is that midfield? Chamberlain. They don't even have Salah? Where is Salah? Salah on the bench? They pretty much just have Salah on the bench. And uh, yeah, Lovren, the uh, self-proclaimed best, goal best uh, defender in the world. I think that's what he said. Or something equally as dumb. Anyways, uh, let's forget about everything else. Let's just concentrate on the game and hopefully we get a result out of Liverpool. There's Hazard. Uh, Cutrone, sorry. Hazard to Havertz. Hit it first time. Couldn't be able to. That's a foul. Thank you. Okay, I rarely have these. Uh, let me just see if I can do this again. That works. That completely works. And I'm pretty fucking sure that Carius had another Carius moment. Let me just see this again. Dude. Gruji, like, the, the, uh, the wall should have jumped. And Carius, that was weak from you, but... I should say, it's not his fault. It's the programming, because even David De Gea has done that. Think about that. Anyways, 1-0 to Newcastle. And with that interception from Lovren, we go to halftime. This game, I feel it going... I'm, I'm getting it out of control. I'm not having control over this game. I can feel it little by little. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how many shots, how many shots on target right now, but I just, whew, I gotta concentrate. I really have to concentrate, because I feel like this game is gonna flip like that. And when that does, I'm going to scream my lungs off. Anyways, second half, let's please, at the very least, if we can't score another one, let's at least keep, keep the clean sheet, because that means we win. Cotrone, great interception. Just cross it. Just cross it, dude. Come on, Andres Silva. Thank you. Oh, my God. Holy shit. You have no idea. You have no idea how stressful this game has been. Holy fuck. 
Lovren was caught napping again. Jesus Christ, 2 0. Thank you. Fuck's sake. Oh my god. I'm actually happy that I made it 2 0, but oh god damn it, it's been so stressful. It's been so stressful. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's keep let's keep the clean sheet. Let's see this game home, please. Butrone shoots it. Oh my god, what a fucking blast. Cotrone just won the game. Well, uh, we were already winning 2-0 at 88th minute, but look at this blast. Jesus. There was no way, no way the keeper was going to get to that. 89th minute, 3-0 to Newcastle, and that's pretty much game. That's game over. And there we go. End of the game. 3-0 to Newcastle at Enfield. Fuck, you have no idea. Like, I felt the game just running away from me until I stopped and, like, started to control the midfield a little bit more. Like, with some passing. Not just up front, but just um, passing it in, onto the wings. I know that I don't have wingers, but making my players go to the wings and using the fullbacks. And I re regained some of the game after that. And Andre Silva scored a at the 59 minute with that um, fumbling on the back and that's when I realized like okay now the game is mine I just have to control it and yeah look at this 16 shots 11 on target 54% possession with their uh, five shots two on target 46% possession like this game was all me up until like the 60th minute was well tie to tie more to them after that was all me. So uh, yeah, with that being said, we are now at the transfer window. Um, let me just check the calendar. So we have Swansea at the end of the week. We have Leicester City in the middle of the week. And then we have the FA Cup. And then Spurs and Swansea again. We're going to be playing Swansea twice in one month for the league. That That's fucking weird. Um, okay, it doesn't matter. It's probably a glitch or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, we're at top of the table with 40 points. The second place is Spurs with 33 points. So we have a seven-point gap away from second place. And we're going to be playing Spurs in that mo in the month of January. So, um, yeah, I, th I have some people that I've sold. Merino sold and uh, Leon sold. Leon sold. So uh, nobody from the main team, and I think I want to pick up some players here or there. I actually don't know what I'm going to what I'm going to be doing, but I'll figure it out next episode. Uh, anyways, hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Like, subscribe, and see you guys next time.